So Greater Cincinnati just served up a major win because the Western and Southern Open is here to stay. That's right. The tennis tournament made the official announcement today after months of debate and concern it could move to Charlotte instead. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons is live in Mason tonight. Valerie, local and state leaders actually made a last minute rally for this. Yeah, Craig, uh, Warren County Commissioner Dave Young says negotiations actually started to get a little dicey these past few weeks and that when the tide seemed to shift more in favor of Charlotte, they really decided to go big. So with the help of the city of Mason and the state of Ohio, they were actually able to more than double the money they originally needed to serve up. They served. This day has been a long time coming. They rallied. I'm pretty much almost speechless. <laughs> and now it's game, set, match. The heart of tennis is here to stay. This turn has been here for 124 years. This is a global sports asset, and we didn't want to lose it. The Western and Southern Open will remain in Mason. We've been working so hard for so many months, and it, this is just such a legacy that we've had here for so long in the Cincinnati region and here in Mason, and we are just so excited. The announcement comes after a months long bidding war with Charlotte launched in May by new tournament owner Beaumont Capital. Now each city needed enough to cover a third of the company's development plans for Charlotte, a new $400 million tennis complex for Cincy, a $150 million expansion. At the end of the day, the local community here really stepped up. Um, Warren County, City of Mason, the, the state of Ohio all contributed to making this happen. Now, since he already had its funds by July, but local representative Adam Matthews says they wanted a sure victory. So they found a way to pledge 130 million, the same amount Charlotte needed and failed to secure. To match the type of world class brand new facility they were looking at at Charlotte and have a facility here, we were willing to step up and make commitments now and in the future. And those commitments are already in full swing. This year's tournament featured new additions, including a new fan zone, new activities, and upgraded player areas. And starting in 2025. A two-week tournament, expanded infrastructure. We're going to have to be able to handle more fans, so parking, uh, food and beverage opportunities, all those things. Serving up 25 more years of world-class tennis. This is a part of people's identity, a part of people's family traditions. Right here in Greater Cincinnati. Now, the tournament brings in around $80 million each year to the region, but once this event goes to two weeks and nearly or more than doubles the player pool, local and state leaders expect the economic impact to grow closer to $150 million. Live in Mason, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News. All right.